need to work. So it's currently 8 15 a.m you saw the kids get off to school i went for a walk took a shower got ready for the day packed up some stuff here that's actually stuff that i listed last night uh gotta take it to my storage unit put it into inventory while i'm there i'm gonna pack up some order stuff that i sold last night i'm gonna ship those take them to the post office we're gonna hit a few thrift stores gotta go to the grocery store and i'm gonna challenge myself today and it has something to do with the thrift stores and the grocery store so you want to stay tuned for that one but uh, let's go, as soon as I can see. So welcome to my storage unit. I'll give you a quick tour before we get started. This is a 10 by 20 unit. Pay about $145 a month. It's climate controlled. It's on the third floor. Uh, over here we have, you know, bubble wrap, large boxes. These are some monitors that I bought out of a storage unit. Bought a bunch of security supplies. There's some more there. This is kind of my shipping station where I keep all my shipping supplies, extra boxes, tape, etc., etc. <clears throat> some more boxes here. Went pretty heavy on some vintage hats a while back. And I keep adding to them. I don't know why I keep buying them. They do sell, but they just take a while. And this is a rack that I built to store them. So each one's labeled. Each hat has a custom SKU on eBay, so I know which box it's in. These are hard goods. These blue bins, same thing, custom SKU. Got a number on the box. I'll tell you more about it in a minute when I put up some inventory. And this, this is kind of an overflow rack. Still got the same thing with the bins here. And this is some more security system stuff down at the bottom. And then these orange totes, they have clothes. So orange totes with clothes have letters. Blue totes with hard goods have numbers. Kind of helps me separate them. And then this is kind of an overflow. Big stuff, stuff that won't fit in the bin, stuff that may be fragile, don't want to get broken. Kind of goes up on this rack. And we've got golf clubs. And then we've got hanging clothes. And then some kind of random stuff on the bottom. And this is kind of my shipping table computer there but uh let's get to putting some inventory up and i'll show you how i do it so all this stuff i actually listed last night and i need to put it into inventory somewhere so i'm going to show you how i do that first thing i'm going to use is this brother p touch this is a label maker still sealed found it at google yesterday for five bucks i've got it listed for around 50 there's comp for around 45 but uh we'll see what we can do but basically all I've got to do because it's already listed is I'm at my active listings page and I can type in brother because that's in the item title and there it is custom label I'm going to put it into bin 6 submit now when I sell it that custom label will pop up and good to go so the next couple items are clothing items and at, basically it's the same thing uh, I've got this bin here this is K it's, it's about half empty I've got plenty of room for these I'm gonna bag each one I use these twist tie bags from Walmart I think it's like three dollars for a hundred of them then I'll take a piece of label and actually pull a piece off put a sticker on the bag label it with K and the item number put it in there match that with my custom skew that I'm gonna put into eBay and we're good to go Now, some of you might be thinking, oh, he's got this really ugly label on this clothing. And he's going to ship it to his customer. Well, halfway true. I actually use these guys, peel one off, cover up that sticker, and they get a thank you note all at the same time. Pretty cool. 
So got everything added to the inventory. Everything's organized like it should be. Now it's time to ship some orders. I've got four going out for a total of $247, not a bad day. I'm gonna pull those, show you what they are, and we'll get them shipped out. So I was going out today. This is a Texas Longhorns women's basketball perfect season t-shirt from 1996. Sold for $21.95. I may have a dollar into it. Probably came from Goodwill. Uh, this is a Bible, the Jesus Bible. It's kind of a special edition study Bible, and it sold for $45. Buyer actually got a great deal. These things go for around $70 new, and it's in like new condition. So these Air Force Ones, they are great condition. Maybe a few tiny little smudges here or there, but uh, paid $5.99 at a, at a Goodwill, and they sold for $65. And then the big item is this Eagle Creek, and that's kind of a brand to be on the lookout for. It's like a carry-on suitcase, but you can unzip it here, and it's a backpack that comes off, so you have kind of two separate pieces. Really kind of cool. I kind of wanted to keep it, but I like $105 better, and that's what it sold for. Paid $5 and sold it for $105. Not bad. I'm going to get these packed up, and we'll get them shook out. In case you're wondering, I did break my tape dispenser and I, ha I haven't got another one yet, so I'm kind of having to improvise. So I've got everything packaged up and now it's time to print my labels. And when I first moved in here, it was kind of a pain because I'd have to come get everything, package it, take it home, print the labels because I don't have electricity here and then actually drive by my storage unit to go to the post office to drop it off. It was kind of a kind of a wasted trip. But now I've figured out a way around that. Let me show you how. I've got this internet battery backup system here. It They're like 60 or 70 bucks at Costco or, or wherever. And it's actually connected to my label printer. My laptop is battery powered. It's connected to the hotspot on my mobile phone. So I've got internet access. Now when I need to print a label, just mash print. And we're good to go. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to print the labels for these packages and we'll head to the post office. All right, got everything packed up, ready to go. Labels are printed. Got my battery back up and my laptop and my backpack back here. Time to go to the post office. Got three to drop off at the post office. One's going to UPS. I'll take that on the way to the grocery store and we'll see you there. So it is currently 9.50 a.m. I got everything dropped off at the post office. Still got to go to UPS. I'll do that a little bit later on. But you guys remember a challenge? I talked about a challenge earlier. Well, well, here it is. I told you I've got to go to a grocery store later, right? Well, I'm going to hit up two, maybe three thrift stores, depending on how long it takes, before I go to the grocery store to see if I can pick up enough inventory to make enough money to cover my groceries for the week. Leave a comment down below. Let me let me know what you think. If I can do it, put your guess down below. Uh, let me know what you think. Like I said, and uh, we'll see you at the thrift store. So that stop was definitely pretty good. I kind of show you what I got. 
a little sneak preview. I'm gonna keep everything until the end and we'll tally up what I spent at the thrift store, how much profit I think I can make, and then I'll show you what I spent at the grocery store and we'll see if we cover my grocery bill. I'm headed to another Goodwill, just pulled in and we'll see what we can find there. So I'm gonna call that Goodwill a win. I found, uh, I'm gonna drop a little hint. There's some Patagonia. I'm also gonna give you a heck of a bolo, so you might wanna stay tuned. But uh, we'll tally everything up at the end, see if we got enough to pay for our groceries. I got stuff falling back there. And I'm gonna run by UPS, drop this big box off. That's that suitcase. I think I still got enough time to hit another store before I go to the grocery store and still be home by 2.30 to get my kids off the bus. Let's see. Next stop, Goodwill, I hope. Package just dropped off at the UPS store. Let's go to this Goodwill and see what we can find. So I spent about 15 minutes at that Goodwill. Didn't pick up anything. They're notoriously high priced, but uh, let's head to the grocery store, get that out of the way, and then home. If you guys don't know about Aldi, I highly recommend it. So I am back. The groceries are put away. All the thrift store items have been unloaded from my truck, and now's the moment of truth. Here's your last chance to comment down below and, and tell me if you think I, I paid for my groceries with a trip to three thrift stores. It's been about an hour and a half, and if I did that, I think it did pretty good. But uh, I'll tell you what I spent at Aldi. I spent $101.61. I'm going to leave that total up here, and we're going to count it down as we figure out what kind of profits we made from these thrift stores. So our first item is this Disney store. This is a Tigger crew neck sweatshirt. I found a sold comp on this for $24. Looks like after fees and shipping and everything else, we should profit around $9.87 on this. And we're gonna take that from the total. Next item up is this Patagonia. It's a better sweater. I rarely find Patagonia around here, but uh, so this is a pretty good find. Paid $5.75 for it. So after fees and shipping, I should profit around $30.73. And we're gonna knock that off our total. Next up, got these Saucony Cohesion 11s. These are women's running shoes in really, really good condition. I need a little bit of cleaning, but they've hardly been worn. Still got a bunch of tread left. Uh, these sell for around $29.99. I paid $6.50. So after fees and shipping, we should make around $10.89. But here's the good thing. We can multiply that times three because I've got the Cohesion 11, Cohesion 12, and the Cohesion 13s. So all of those, we'll knock it off our grocery price. So right now, the balance on our grocery bill should be $28.34. And that brings up the next item. It's these roller skates. These are Roller Derby Laser 7.9 MX. Found the comp on these for $29.99 plus shipping. So we just deduct our cost of $5 and our fees. And we should be left with a profit of $21.39. So that brings our grocery bill down to $6.95. Not too bad, we still got a couple items left. So some more roller skates. These are the Roller Derby Roller Star 600s. These comp out around $35 plus shipping. So once again, we don't deduct the shipping from that. We just deduct our $5 buy cost and the fees. And we're gonna be left with a profit on these of around $25.80. So now not only have we paid for our grocery bill, we've got a little extra money. We're up to around $18.85 in profit. Next up, yeah, you guessed it, it's a Wii. I've got the console, there's a nunchuck still in the package, two Wiimotes, cables, everything, and the extra nunchuck. Whole system, no games, but I paid $15 for it, and I believe I can get $80, probably more, I'm probably being a little conservative, but that'll ship in a medium flat rate box at $12.80, deduct our buy cost of 15 and our fees, Looks like we're going to be left with a profit of around $42.60. Not too bad. We're adding on to our, pro our total. 
So here's your crazy bolo that I promised you. I, this is a North Pole communicator made by Hallmark, came out in 2013. Not really sure what it does, but people want it. Uh, I'm put the comps on the screen right here and you see me scroll through. This thing goes for crazy money. I paid $1.89 and we're gonna figure I'm gonna get $60 for it. After fees and shipping, I'll clear $40.91. So we're gonna add that to our total and that's the last item so what you see here is i've covered my grocery bill i've made extra money and it was all done by spending an hour and a half at a thrift store now i know i've got to list all this stuff and do a little bit of cleaning but it's easy money if you need extra money if you're struggling if you're a stay-at-home parent like me you need something to do as a hobby and make some extra money this is a great way to do it the money is out there people throw it away every day just go out there and get it. So there's the school bus. That means it's time to go from reseller mode to dad mode. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.